those who are interested in robotic vacuum cleaners remember the Magia 1C well. In 2019 it became a real hit. Camera-based navigation, cool functionality, high-quality dry cleaning. And all this for little money. In 2021 Xiaomi made a number of improvements and released the Magia 2C with a more powerful battery, a 5-beam brush and a powerful 2700 Pascals motor. But the robot was intent for the Chinese market. Due to this, there appeared several issues with connecting the application and the speed of its walk. Everyone expected that the manufacturer would soon release a global version, and the robot could be easily used everywhere in the world. And in 2022, Xiaomi really released the global version of Xiaomi Robot Vacuum Mob 2C. But it turned out to be not all what we expected. The fact that in the updated version Xiaomi for some reason decided to abandon all previously made improvements. The app started working better, but are there any other differences between the new Magia 2C and Magia 1C from 3 years ago? And is it worth paying $210 for this robot? Consider the design and functionality, test the robot and try to answer these questions. The package includes robot vacuum cleaner, base, power cable and brush which must be placed under the bottom of the vacuum cleaner. Mop with installed napkin. Full and brief instructions both in English. The package is almost similar to Magia 1 Seas 1. True, this time I didn't get a service brush. I searched the whole box, but I didn't find it. It is also impossible to tell one robot apart from another. The same white pill with a tinned window on the bumper, camera, buttons, outlets. Everything is the same, including dimensions. There are two control buttons, start and home. Behind those is a viewing camera. On the front side there is a spring-loaded bumper without a side sensor. They also decided to save money on the rubber band. Apparently, the manufacturer believes that the robot will carefully avoid obstacles anyway, so we'll check it during test. The exhaust grill is standard. Under the lid, a regular dust collector from Xiaomi is inserted. Transparent plastic. Holding front wall. 600 ml volume. There's no pre-filtering, only a HEPA filter, and this is a big disadvantage. There's no curtain in the section hole, which is typical for all Xiaomi models. On the panel under the cover there's a Wi-Fi indicator and a reset button. Now let's see what the robot has under the button. Swivel roller, driving wheels, charging terminals, surface sensors, and brush with long leashes. Floor sensor, it's needed for mapping. Loading socket. The frame is equipped with anti-wind protection and a rubber scrapper. On the reverse side they made two brushes. In theory they should sweep the hair from the rotor, but in practice they are of little use. Super brush, petal bristle, moderate hardness. The ends are non-removable. Only the plug is removed on one side. And so you have to tinker with the hair. A mop with a napkin is inserted from behind under the bottom. Pipes for water supply pass through the tank. Three nozzles came to the surface napkin fastening in groove and on fly papers. By the way, the napkin is just as unsuccessful as before, balled on the sides, so I don't expect much from wet cleaning. In general, the build quality is standard for Xiaomi. There are no engineering innovations, and this is more of a minus than a plus. But perhaps the manufacturer has focused all its efforts on the functionality of the robot. Now let's test this hypothesis. The app is called Me Home. After installation we found our robot on the list. Hold down the buttons. Wait for the scan to complete, and then follow the prompts on the screen. Nothing complicated. Different connection regions are available, so there should not be any issues. On the main screen we are greeted by a build map and data of the last cleaning. With the button at the top right you can immediately mark the target area, or simply click on the desired room. The robot divides the apartment into rooms automatically, but you can make changes in the editor. Swipe up to open the menu for adjusting power and waiting. Go to advanced settings. By default the map saving mode is activated. Don't turn it off, otherwise Magia 2C will draw the map again every time. There's work planning by days of the week without selecting the necessary zones or rooms. Don't disturb mode. Enable notifications. Choose an voice package from a long list. Volume control. You can also view the history of cleaning. Evaluate the wear of accessories. Play with the joystick. Find the robot 
by the sound signal. The editor opens in a separate menu. It allows you to change the boundaries of room, give them family names, set up virtual walls and restricted areas for each type of cleaning. That's all, then only service functions. The application is intuitive and fast. There are no complaints about its work. Now let's check the navigation. Surface sensors work correctly. The vacuum cleaner is not afraid of black carpets. Also, it doesn't go out onto the steps, so you can safely let it out into the open spaces of your apartment. Despite the advanced mapping, the Magia 2 says navigation is primitive. The robot runs around the room in zigzags and sees only what the bumper sets on. And so the rubber strip was removed from it prematurely. Recognized obstacles don't sweep. Just go around and return to the original trajectory. Curtains Magia 2 c also doesn't notice. If you have them long and lie on the floor, it is better to leave them anyway. Otherwise, it may chew the edges and struggles with the dryer but doesn't get stuck because it can't pass through the legs. At the same time, Time, the patency of the thresholds is normal. Jumps over 2 cm straps cheerfully. Of the advantages, I can note good ability to move under furniture, otherwise the results are expected. Navigation doesn't differ from other versions of Mijia C. Within the apartment, Mijia 2 C moves rationally, room by room. Battery capacity 2600 mAh. In turbo mode, the battery lasts for 49 minutes, during which the robot managed to process 41 square meters. The suction power of the global version of Magia 2C was reduced to 2200 pascals. The Chinese version offered us a motor of 2700 pascals. At the same time, the noise is as if we have a powerful premium robot in front of us from 36 to 72 decibels. By the way, the rumble on the carpet is not so strong, 50-63 decibels. Apparently, a couple of decibels as the grinding of silicon lamellas on the floor. It remains only to understand how well Mijia 2C collects garbage. Now let's check. In automatic mode, the vacuum cleaner passes the pan twice in zigzags and along the walls. The tuba brush confidently greens grumps, grains and even filler. There's no side sensor, but this has even become an advantage for the robot. He constantly nods in the direction of the plinth, rides for a long time, but cleans thoroughly. As a result, the modes remain only in the depth of the corners. Result 98%. Mijia 2C dealt with sand no less confidently. Notice the clean trail behind the tubo brush. The robot is really powerful despite the modest designations on the box. In two passes, the end brush processed the near wall zones with high quality. Worked almost perfectly 99%. The Mijia 2C handles thin carpet almost as thoroughly as a laminate. But still, due to the pile, the effectiveness of the end brush is reduced. She can no longer rake up all the garbage along the baseboards and misses a lot of specs, especially large ones. The result is a little weaker, but still not bad. 95%. On the average carpet, the side whisk almost doesn't work, and the power is still not enough, and so a lot of debris remains in the depths of the carpet pile. However, Mijia 2C performed well. Analogs collect an average of 40-60%, and Mijia collected 83%. The results are impressive. Could a robot be able to wash the floor as well and easily as it dry cleans them? I put coffee stains in the paddock and started the robot with a dry napkin. Let's see how it moisturizes it on its own. As you can see, it wets slightly. The first cleaning cycle Mijia 2C moved to no avail. When restarted, the napkin was already wet and started to walk. But still, there were dirt stands and stands especially along the walls. There, the microfiber doesn't get wet because of the bald edges of the napkin. Even from the third run, only the middle of the paddock was washed. This is what the mop looks like after walk. As I said, only the middle of the napkin works. In general, such wet cleaning is only suitable for humidifying the air in the house. Mijia 2C is a slightly updated version of the 2019 Mijia 1C. The design was kept unchanged, including flaws and bad decisions. The functionality of the application is not different from 1C after a fresh update. The only difference is that the application has become faster and different languages have become available in it. Given the price tag of $210 and the level of competitors, the offer is not so bad, especially since the Mijia 2C shows a premium level in terms of the quality of dry cleaning. However, the robot is obsolete and inferior to its main competitor, Dreamy F. 9 for $250.
in almost everything. First of all, this concerns the ease of maintenance, productivity and cleaning quality, which Dreamy is simply legendary. And so, given the slight difference in price, I recommend taking the Dreamy F9 and considering the Mature 2C as a fallback.